Hey, what's going on you guys? Joshua Elder here. Welcome back to the channel. And in this video, I want to give you a proven ClickBank tutorial for beginners here in 2020. This is my proven affiliate marketing strategy that I've been using for roughly the past six years. And I see a lot of people on YouTube that teach uh, you how to make money on ClickBank are actually doing it completely backwards. So I'm excited to show you this video because you can apply this strategy really into anything that you're selling, whether it's ClickBank products, affiliate products from other networks, and even your own products. So without further ado, before we get into detail about this, go ahead and slam that like button. As you know, it helps the algorithm. And don't forget to click that subscribe button as well because I'm uploading videos pretty frequently teaching you how to build a life and business full of freedom, passion, and fulfillment. And also slam that bell icon. That way you can be notified of more ClickBank tutorials that I upload when I upload them along with other videos. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the computer and show you this strategy. All right, so here is the five step process I'm about to walk you through. Now, the way that most people are teaching is to just simply go to ClickBank to pick a product and to run like Facebook ads or YouTube ads to that product. And what happens with most people is they get their account shut down, whether Facebook shuts down their account, YouTube shuts down their account, they deal with technical difficulties, and it's just simply too overwhelming. So what I wanna do in this video is teach you more of a long-term strategy. It's not that you shouldn't include paid advertising in your marketing, but as a beginner, this is what I believe that you should do based off of my personal experience and not having to deal with the risk that comes with paid advertising. So we're gonna walk you through this in its entirety. We're gonna start with step one, research profitable niches on ClickBank. So all I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to ClickBank I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna log into one of my test accounts. We're just gonna go ahead and sign in here. And you can see that I'm not too active on ClickBank right now. Now, that's because I'm in a completely different uh, place in my business than what most of you are in. I focus more on private affiliate products that are outside of ClickBank, as well as promoting my own products. The reason why I do that is because I can keep more of the money. There's actually private networks out there that will pay you up to 100% commissions and you're able to make as much as you know $15,000 plus per, uh, per sell and per commission on a product. Whereas with ClickBank, you're not able to do that. But I notice with most people that start with affiliate marketing, they want something that's low risk. They don't want to have to invest like a ton of money and put their house on the line. And so that's why I would recommend that you start with ClickBank versus starting with something like high ticket or super high ticket as I would call it. So you can see just you know month to date, I've already done 46,000, almost $47,000. That's a uh, almost a 200% increase from last month. If we go uh, year to date, you can see uh, $368,000 in, in my business. So. What I teach actually works, but let me show you how it's applicable to getting started on ClickBank with less risk and lower ticket uh, products, so to speak. So what we're gonna do is we're just simply gonna go to the marketplace here. And you can see all the categories on the left-hand side. You've got e-business, e-marketing, games, green products, health and fitness, self-help, so on and so forth. So I would first brainstorm, okay, what is something that you'd be interested in going into that you can become like really passionate about, that you would excite, be excited to wake up and really work on long-term? And so let's say it's a health and fitness, for example. So we just simply click on that category and you can look down the list here and it's sorted by popularity, which means these products are the products that are selling the best. So you got like diabetes freedom, which would be like a sub niche of the you know health and fitness market, right? So you got markets, you got niches, you got sub niches. So health and fitness can be the market and then weight loss can be the niche and then keto dieting could be the sub niche, so to speak. So in this case, diabetes freedom would be the sub niche. I would highly recommend that you start 
building your business within a sub niche. The more targeted you are with your specific niche, the uh, more impact you're obviously gonna make and the less competition there is. A lot of people are casting their marketing net way too wide, which means they're trying to reach just all the weight loss people. Instead of going a little bit deeper and focusing on maybe people that are just into keto or people that are vegans or people that are into paleo. You understand what I'm saying? So you wanna be more laser targeted and you can apply this in virtually any market, any niche. I'm just giving you an example here. So then what I would do is first, you know, acknowledge, okay, here's the market I want to go into. Here's the niche that I want to go into and just get an idea of what types of products are selling really, really well within that niche or sub niche. So again, this is an indicator. So you can see this has a gravity score of 805. Usually anything over like 30 or even 50 is pretty dang good when it comes to gravity. So what I like to just do is just kind of go down here and browse through, like this one has 500, this one has 272, and then I would even click on these links here to go to the actual offers. And then I would watch the sales videos. I would look at the sales pages and really find out what is, what is this, this uh, product promoter selling? What is this product owner actually selling to me? And a lot of times it's going to give you an idea of a specific sub niche as we spoke about that they're really appealing to. And because I've researched these, you know, sort of niches so much within the health and fitness uh, market, I have an idea of, you know, intermittent fasting is really popular right now. Um, keto dieting obviously is really popular right now. Those are two of the really big ones. And what you can even do is go to Google Trends. I'm just going to type in Google Trends and we'll go to the top listing here, Google Trends, and I'll just type in intermittent fasting, right? And you can even see the interest over time. I'm just going to go back to 2004 to present. You can see how drastically this has gone up from 2013 to now 2020. And a lot of times, you can go over here and it will give you related topics that are also trending, that are also popular. So you've got, uh, you know, diet, nutrition, weight loss, eating, boom, you got ketogenic diet right here. Another good sub niche to go into within the weight loss niche. And then as I go on here more, you can see more related uh, topics. So you got ketosis here, which is related to keto uh, diet. Uh, low carb diet, which is another thing that's popular. So low carb, intermittent fasting, keto, all three of those are super popular. And if there's a product on ClickBank that is selling really well, uh, and especially if it teaches one of those three uh, strategies to losing weight and getting fit, then again, you know that it's a popular uh, you know, niche to go into. So what you want to do, in other words, when you're starting your affiliate marketing business, don't focus on the product. Your, the product is not your business. Your business is the niche and it's solving the problems within that niche. And then the uh, products are just the vehicles to get you to your end goal, to get you to your income goal. So most people, they just go pick one product and they're so laser focused on that one product and they go and try and promote it and slam as many people to that product as they can. And that's not the way to make money in affiliate marketing. The way to make money with affiliate marketing here in 2020 is to pick a niche and then build a big audience around that niche, helping them solve multiple problems that they're dealing with within that specific niche. So keto diet, there's lots of different things you know, what, how you should go about working out on a keto diet, when you should work out, what you should eat, what times of day uh, you should be eating, the supplements that you should be taking, um, all that good stuff. So there's so many different things that you can talk about, which leads me to my next point. Pick one free traffic platform and post on that platform every single day. As you can see, here we are on YouTube. You know, just reverse engineer. In other words, look at what I'm doing, model what I'm doing inside of your business for your specific niche because it just simply works. And it's because of video traffic specifically for me that I've been able to build a multiple seven-figure business 
over the course of the past few years online part time. So the key here, you guys, and this is where most people quit. Most people quit either with the tech stuff or they quit with the consistency of putting up content. The way to lower your risk with affiliate marketing is by doing more. Instead of taking all of your money that you've got saved up from your job and putting that into paid advertising and risking that, it's better to implement a free traffic strategy every single day and then use 20% of that income to invest into testing and paid advertising. Again, people are doing it completely backwards. So I was able to build a very strong foundation, a very strong base with free advertising, which is now, after five years later, allowed me to scale with YouTube ads using paid advertising strategies. So it's very low risk. Yes, you are trading your time for money in the beginning, but if you're doing high leverage free traffic strategies like YouTube videos, these videos will live on on the internet for months and years to come. As I've said, I've got other videos within this channel that still make me sales that I put up five years ago or even more, even other YouTube channels that I have out there. Whereas with like something like Facebook and posting on your profile every single day, that is a very uh, low leverage traffic strategy because your posts get drowned out by other people's posts in the newsfeed. Where with YouTube and even with blogging, your you know, listing can rank at the top of the search engine for, for years, as long as people are getting value from it. There's no other platform where you're able to really do that and get that kind of passive income and have access to virtual real estate that pays you in day in and day out. And that's why I've stuck with YouTube marketing for so long. So pick one free traffic platform, and I should also put that has high leverage where you can put in a little bit of work every single day and you can earn passive income. In other words, you're getting consistent traffic from that media that you put up for, as I said, months and years to come. So whether that be Instagram, Instagram's great to do that with. Uh, Facebook fan page is great to do that because you're able to get followers to the fan page and you're able to boost post to your fan page, where with uh, your profile, yeah, you can get some followers, but you're gonna have to make more posts to reach your whole entire audience. So Facebook sort of forces you to you know, eventually get a fan page at some point. So that's how you really optimize is with the fan page. And then of course with, with YouTube, uh, that's a great platform as I explained, and then even TikTok is very up and coming, and that's another great platform that you can leverage to get passive income. So step number three now, now that you understand that you should be building an audience, you understand how to research profitable niches, now you wanna find a high quality offer to promote. And you'll notice that I haven't even talked about building funnels or email autoresponders or anything like that, because again, that's what bogs down the beginner. And when you have an audience on one of these free advertising platforms, you've built a relationship with your prospective customers, then all you need to do is take the assets that ClickBank, uh, ClickBank product provides you and simply send it out to your audience in the form of a video, a post, of course, depending on what platform you're on, and boom, you're earning money on demand without having to deal with the technical difficulties. Again, the importance of having that strong base and an audience. So step number three is obviously find a high quality offer to promote. And again, you wanna look at the actual sales video, even purchase the product in some cases, and use the product and document your use of the product. And that will show you firsthand if the product actually works. You can also look at unbiased reviews out there on the internet as well. You'll see that a lot of these programs too will offer uh, JV tools, in other words, marketing assets that you can use. So this Lepto Connect, for example, um, you can scroll down here and typically you would fill out your, you know, your name and email address to get access to all the swipes. In this case, it doesn't make you do that, but you've got like the email swipes that you can use if you have an email list. Um, sometimes they'll give you banners. Uh, they'll give you targeting groups if you are running 
Facebook ads or YouTube ads. I'll show you exactly what's working best for them um, and their affiliates. But once you've got the audience built up right here, you guys, using step number two, all you need to do is make a simple post, you know, showing a specific product and then linking out to the product because your audience is obviously following you because they know, like, and trust you. So you don't have to do that much selling. You just make a simple video, a simple post. Hey, I found a product. I think you're going to get a lot of value from it. Um, it's going to help you X, Y, Z. And all you got to do is click the link on this post, on this video, depending on what platform you're on, and just lead people directly to the product. And it really is that simple. And I typically, again, like to just promote some of the most popular products. Just list by popularity, pick out maybe two or three, and you can rotate those. You can post one of the offers to your audience, see how that converts. And then again, give more value to that audience like you would typically do. And then once again, post another offer and see which offer is converting better. And then that could be the offer that you can promote more long term. Does that make sense? So, and then step four, of course, as I said, use the marketing assets to promote the product. And you can just simply check out all the affiliate pages uh, below the listings right here where it says affiliate page, okay? So if you guys really want to master traffic generation, which is the key uh, to building any business, there's a lot of smoke and mirrors and people say you need to have the right product and you need to have the right funnel, you need to have the right autoresponder and, and email sequence and all that stuff. That does not matter, you guys, unless you have traffic. So master traffic and you master everything else. I've actually got videos that show you how to build an audience on YouTube that are for free. I'll list those in the description to give you more insight on how to build your own audience on YouTube if you choose to do that. But the same concepts are gonna to apply to any other platform. It's all about volume. It's not about trying to hack the platform. It's not about you know doing some quick get rich quick schemey thing on the platform or finding some loophole. That doesn't exist, quite frankly. It's all about just understanding your target audience and then putting up free content on whatever platform that you're on every single day until your audience has built an affinity for you and then you can begin to make offers. I hope you got value from this video. If you did, go ahead and give me a like. You know, comment below with any questions that you have. Subscribe to the channel and tick that bell icon. And if you want to check out my number one system to building an online business as a beginner affiliate marketer or a beginner online in general, there's going to be a link in the description that shows you exactly how to do that amongst other resources. Thank you so much for watching this video and we will see you in the next one.